I did an experiment with MOSFETs, three of them, the IRF-Z46N, connected them in series, um, and the idea was to make a MOSFET that can handle a high voltage, let's say 80 volts or so. It all had to do with my solar system experiments. This uh, MOSFET, or HEXFET, I don't know that exactly, uh, has a breakdown voltage from 55 volts. So three of them in series, when they are all driven into saturation, um, could handle, let's say, 100 volts or so. That was my idea. Uh, it worked. I made a circuit in real, that's here, in a test circuit. And um, I found that the, this combination, combination suddenly started to oscillate when I turned the potentiometer here to a certain point. I pinched off the current through these three MOSFETs and on a sudden moment uh, it started to oscillate. I think it's interesting and um, perhaps it has all to do with the properties from this uh, MOSFET. When you read the data sheet you can see that there is um, internal drain inductance, internal source inductance, for 0.5 nano Henry. So it's quite a high value for a semiconductor. And also output capacitance and input capacitance 407 and 110 picofarad. And that means that the ideal conditions are given to, uh, to make an oscillator without external uh, frequency dependent um, things like a coil or a capacitance because inside the MOSFET as far as I can see uh, there is capacitance and inductance. Switch on the power supply now. 5 ampere, 17 volts, these two big lamps, halogen lamps, light up, each 50 watt. Uh, it gets hot, the heat sink, quite hot, very, very hot. And now I'm going to turn the potentiometer to the minus. And here you see that the whole circuit starts to oscillate. Also my amperimeter here gives an indication, completely unreal. But uh, it gets a little bit excited by the oscillations. And also the voltmeter doesn't know what to do now. Due to the high frequent energy that's put into the system. And when I make the voltage uh, bigger on the gate, more positive on the gate, the oscillation stops. So I think it's something to take in account when you work with MOSFETs that this very strange effect suddenly can happen. And of course with all always when something oscillate oscillates you have to uh, lead the signal to ground to stop the oscillations. Perhaps with a capacitor or with a resistor, don't know. It all must be figured out uh, experimentally. But before I take this circuit apart Perhaps it's interesting to show what happened here for all people that also do experiments with MOSFETs.